In this presentation we're going to look at accounts receivable as revenue and accounts receivable here is uh, an asset on the balance sheet and when it's converted into revenue, revenue is part of net income on the income statement. So exactly what is accounts receivable? Well, let's look here. For example, we perform a service for a customer or we sell them a product or some goods or service is provided here. So just looking at this timeline, this time frame here, let's just look at March through October. Say we had some goods or services we provided. Say we provided them here at $500 a month it's to the customer. So we have accounts receivable earned as revenue. So we've earned this $500 per month. That is, the revenue is earned, but it's not yet paid in cash. We've earned the revenue during this time frame here, but we haven't received payment for it until after we've provided the, either the good or the service. So in this case, I just used an example here of $5,000 as a payment that we received after we provided some good or service here. What we have to do here is we have to allocate the accounts receivable to the revenue account in net income. So let's take a look here and in, in, in detail about the accounts receivable. Say we provided this goods or service and we provided it at $500 per month. So we would debit or increase accounts receivable and then the corresponding uh, credit entry would be to $500 each year per month to the revenue account. So the credit, we increase the revenue account by that amount. Now, once after we've uh, provided those goods and services and then at some time in the future or after we provided the goods or service, we receive payment for them. In this case, uh, we're looking here at a $5,000 payment. So we earn the revenue and then after that we receive the payment. So upon the payment, we decrease accounts receivable or we credit it to decrease accounts receivable and then the corresponding uh, debit entry would be to cash and we got cash in this case so we debit it or increase cash by five thousand dollars now re remember cash is also an asset on the balance sheet so to sum it up here we have an accounts receivable and we increase it when we provide a service and uh, it's in advance of the payment and then we put the corresponding uh, credit entry here to revenue or we increase revenues which is part of the net income on the income statement. Now remember the revenue account here is closed out to a retained earnings account on this as under stockholders or equity on the balance sheet and that's done at the end of the year end of the period. And then later when we receive the cash we reduce accounts receivable by that much and then we increase the cash account by that amount. So that's just an overview of how accounts receivable works.